everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here and you don't know me, then my name is Marlene and I do quite a bit of fitness related um, content, challenges and today, well actually not today, last week, I decided to do the Pamela Reif uh, just workout plan. But before we get into that, uh, yeah, I want to dress um, my new style. I got bangs. I got them yesterday, so they're not going to be like in the video. But I don't know. I think they look cute. Like I'm not looking super cute somehow. I have raccoon eyes and my like the rest of the hair is just not cooperating. But I think I think they look cute. I don't know. Comment down below if you like, you like my bangs. It's a choice, you know. I had them last year and I kind of let them grow out because they're not super easy to maintain. Um, I'm a very low maintenance kind of girl when it comes to my hair, so uh, I had them last year and I kind of let them grow out, but now I decided to get them again. I don't know. Um, it's just my thoughts. I, I, don't, I don't even know. Uh, I felt like it and I did it and now I'm here and I have bangs. But anyways, back, back to Pamela. So if you don't know who Pamela Reif is, she is this German like fitness influencer she, and entrepreneur and she does so many things like not only does she have her like super successful YouTube channel but she also has like an app where she talks about nutrition, she gives out recipes, uh, she puts her workouts there I think as well like I don't know I don't have her app. Um, <laughs> But she also has like a um, snack line in Germany and she has a lot of things. I don't know. She has a lot of, lot of things going on. She's like a super woman, honestly. Um, so yeah, <laughs> if you don't follow her, then go follow her. She's amazing and she's such an inspiration. But what I decided to do is... Uh, her workout plan. So every week, I think it's on Sundays, she will upload a workout plan to her Instagram stories. And they, she actually uploads quite a bit of workout plans. There's like a beginner, like a 30 minute one, like three 45 minute ones. Um, so it's very um, varied and depending on your level, you can do any one of these workouts um, I very much recommend them like if you're starting out you can just do the beginner one and then you can just climb your way to the 45 hard sweaty one <laughs> that's the one that she does uh, and that's the one that I did so yeah let's let's just dive into what the workouts were okay so it is day one and today I have like an ab workout, a hit workout, an ab workout, and another ab workout. It's gonna be super intense, but you know that's that's what we signed up for. So let's smash it. Okay, so day one was the happy sweaty Monday and I did sweat a lot. So basically uh, I started out with like a ab workout and then there was like a more dancey cardio workout and then there was another like dancey cardio workout and then we ended with abs again and my abs hurt so much they were having the workout of their life i think this monday was a lot like i was so so sore the next day but i really enjoyed it um i love her like cardio workouts I'm not such a fan of her other workouts, like in general, but the cardio workouts, they're so good. Like I really enjoy them. They will beat your ass, but they're amazing and I super recommend them. I will usually do them um, when I'm doing like other programs or things like that, days that are a little bit more chill. Like I, lo I love to just uh, sneak <laughs> like a little sweaty cardio class or cardio video of hers um so i knew i enjoyed them and i was very very happy with it so my butt is about to get destroyed yay 
day two was all about the booty and if you have not seen Pamela's booty it is insane like the girl has the most trained glutes out there it's <laughs> it's everything and her workouts are killer like you did not know your glutes could hurt as much like I have done so many like glute workouts like booty exercises i did i did the chloe teen get peachy challenge and nothing compared to how much my glutes were suffering uh this day like the thing about pamela is she's intense she will not give you any breaks like if you want to break you're, you're just gonna have to take it on your own um that's something that i learned this time around obviously i have done her workouts before i have um a video on that uh if you want to check it out it's gonna be in the link down below um but basically when i did it the first time i didn't take as many breaks as i needed and i ended up really hating the exercises like i had such a bad time last time and this time i knew like if i needed a break i was just gonna take a break and not really that just made the difference uh this time around so my booty needed quite a bit of rest because it was dying. So yeah, I I took a lot of <laughs> I took a lot of breaks, but it was good. Like I really enjoyed it. I enjoy her videos in general. Like this time around, I really enjoyed it, and her booty was insane. Okay, I'm very much afraid for this day because it is like an upper body day. I'm not an upper body queen, like. I'm actually not a nothing queen um but everybody especially like arms i have a problem i have like no strength and i know pamela's gonna absolutely kill me so pray for me <laughs> even though it, this has already happened by the time you're watching it anyways let's see how it goes no day three i was so scared for day three because as I said, like I am not the biggest fan of Pamela's videos, like the strength videos in general. Like I love her cardio workouts, but her strength um, workouts, I think they're a little bit too challenging for me personally. Like if you're maybe more advanced in your journey, um, then you might not agree with this. And you, <laughs> you're probably thinking like, uh, that's not hard. Pamela's workouts aren't hard, but they're hard for me. So you know, to each their own, and to me, they're hard. So I was really um, frightened <laughs> to do this day because it's a lot of um, upper body strength, and I don't have upper body strength, like, in general. Uh, I lack upper body strength, so I was very uh, afraid of this one, and to be honest, rightly so, because it killed me. Like, my arms were so like in pain <laughs> uh obviously i did use um weights for this one because she used weights for that one uh she obviously she she was working with like 10 and 5 kilo of uh, weights i was using the one kilo and two kilo weights but still i just it was so hard but it was very rewarding and the work the day did end up with like a dance workout so um at least i got that to look forward to while i was dying <laughs> now day four was actually like a stretching day and i did not stretch yay <laughs> you should be stretching by the way uh don't skip that one because it's really good for you to stretch is is to take care of yourself and I didn't do it, and I kind of regret it. Um, sorry. <laughs> hey, so I'm back to filming in my bedroom because we're socially isolating at home. I know, ironic. I changed my channel's name and video number two. I'm back at social isolation. This is great. Uh, but anyways, back into my room. And today is a abs and booty workout, which I think is gonna be killer. But yeah, I had a rest day yesterday, so should be should be good. <laughs> okay, day five was like abs, booty, and cardio, like everything. Just every every single thing that you could do, she just put it into that day. 
Uh, I remember I wasn't feeling as good this day, so I was kind of lagging energy. But that's okay, you know, I just took more breaks and took it a little bit easier. And I think I didn't do like the dance workout at the end, but it was still like a 30 minute workout and it, it beat my ass. So, <laughs> so it's still, it's still like, that's the thing I want to say. Like, even if you take uh, 700 breaks, it's, it's still going to be like a super good workout. Like everything that you do that is challenging for you is going to be a good workout. If that's uh, doing the complete, the class, uh, just from start to finish, or maybe that's just taking seven breaks instead of eight. I don't know, whatever. Um, if it's challenging for you, then you're going to be working and you don't have to feel like if you don't complete every single step or every single workout, then that that's not going to be like an effective workout. It, it's still going to be it really, it really is. Now day six, uh, I think it was one of my favorite um, workouts because it was a cardio day and it had like three cardio like videos, which I love. Again, I said, I really, I really enjoy her cardio workouts. Like it's just the way I am. It's just the way I feel. It's my opinion. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I really like it. Um, again, I, it was so sweaty. Like I was sweating so much i was dehydrated of how much i was sweating but i really enjoyed it and that's the important part that you enjoy it so if you enjoyed it then it's a good thing and i enjoyed it so that's good got, i got a little bit lost there and again if you're just looking for like a nice fun cardio workout then i so recommend pamela's workout uh not only the dance workouts they're super good but she has some that are like heavy cardio or heavy sweat type of videos. They're very good as well. So don't sleep on them. But okay, that was um, the week. <laughs> That's how the week was. And honestly, I felt like it was such a hard workout. Like that's the thing, Pamela, it's hard, but it's super rewarding. Um, so I, but that's how I feel. It was really hard. Like I struggled quite a bit through it. Like I'm definitely not at the level of fitness where I can just breeze through Pamela's exercises, <laughs> exercising videos, but they're challenging in a good way. I think the first time I did this like workout plan, I wasn't at the same level, level that I am today. And probably I should have just uh, done the like 30 minute days but I decided to do 45 minutes day days and I almost quit last time but this time I think I am at the level where I can keep up with the 45 minute workouts so that's the thing if you're not ready for something then just do it like the, do the step before then don't try to do everything at once because you're gonna get frustrated and just quit and it's better to do like a 10 minute workout or a 20 minute workout uh, for longer, like longer days. Like it's better to do a 20 minute workout for a month than just starting out with a 45 minute workout and quitting on day three. That's what I wanted to say. But anyways, let's get to why you are all here, which are the results. So. I'm going to put two videos up on the screen uh, of my kind of before and after. I, I didn't notice that much of a difference. Like, I, if I'm going to be honest, I just kind of look at the videos and don't see that much of a difference, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I think I look good in both. So, <laughs> uh, But what did change quite a bit were my measurements. Now, I wasn't expecting a lot of change there. I kind of thought, okay, this is gonna be kind of like the same. Maybe I lost like half a centimeter here, half a centimeter there. Because obviously like, you know, in a week, it's not realistic to expect uh, a lot of changes, but they did happen to me, um, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I, I 
did go down a few more centimeters than I was expecting to. Like, I'm not complaining. Definitely not complaining. But I just kind of wanted to point it out in case you do this challenge and you don't lose as much uh, centimeters or weight as you were expecting or as I did because everyone's different and yeah <laughs> but anyways let's get into this so my waist uh, went from 76 centimeters to 75 centimeters and actually 75 centimeters is um, the lowest lowest measurements my waist has ever produced I don't know uh, <laughs> it's definitely like the smallest my waist has, has ever been so I don't know <laughs> just wanted to say it because it 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 never reached 75 okay <laughs> and then my my love handles that's where I was the most shocked because I was expecting it to go down like maybe half a centimeter one centimeter top and I went down two centimeters like two whole centimeters from my love handles I could not believe it oh, I'm still in shock you know <laughs> I could not believe those measurements they were so much like honestly mind blown like mind blown then for my booty I went from 103 centimeters to 102 that's like okay um Normally, I, I go from 103 to 102 to 103 to 102. Like, that's very normal in my life. Then my arms, uh, my left arm went from like 30.5 30 centimeters to 30 centimeters. And then my uh, right arm just stayed at 30 centimeters. So not really that much of a change there there and then my thighs both went from 59 centimeters to 58 centimeters which very happy about so yeah kind of it was a lot like in in general i lost centimeters from every single part of my body uh, except my right arm <laughs> but I was I was really not expecting it. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, a week is not a long time. Um, I did eat quite clean. I hate that word. Like quite good the first few days, and then actually <laughs> it was super funny. My mom got coronavirus. Like I live with my parents, and my mom got coronavirus, so we were all just in lockdown here in my home so the first day um it was fine it was okay like i could just eat i i, I ate pretty good and then eventually like lockdown was stressful and we started eating like a lot of chocolate and just a lot of nice things so what I, where i was going with this is it is possible for you for me for everyone to lose weight and just not sacrifice um eating what you want that's kind of like what i wanted to say as well because i think it's important like you do not need to stop eating chocolate or whatever you like in moderation in moderation if that is not what you want uh, but anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below because we are at 95 subscribers. I'm so, so happy about this. 95 years, five close, five people close to 100 subscribers. If you're not subscribed here, uh, please do so we can get to 100. If you're at the 100th, like if for some magical reason we're... At, right now we're 99 and you subscribe and you're like my hundredth subscriber uh comment down below because i would love to know if you're my hundredth subscriber but anyways like i can do a shout out or whatever like to the other hundred people that watch my channel <laughs> but anyways um so yeah um hope you like this and i will see y'all in the next one Mwah. bye